everybody. This week is Mother's Day, one of my favorite holidays. And so I'm going to teach you how to make mom a delicious present. We're gonna be making chocolate covered strawberries today. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, you're probably gonna need an adult helper. So it might be a good idea to grab someone else other than mom, unless mom really, really wants to help. That way she can even be a part of making the present. That's exciting. The first thing you wanna do, you're gonna to wanna to grab parchment paper. This is parchment paper. We use this so that things don't stick. You're gonna to have to have your adult helper do this because all right here is really, really sharp teeth that can cut you. And so you're gonna to have to ask your adult helper to rip off a piece of parchment paper and you're gonna set it right on top of a baking tray just like that. And what that's gonna to help do is help your strawberries not to stick. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get your strawberries and you're going to wash and dry them. And when you dry them, you wanna use a paper towel that's super dry and you wanna pat it. You don't want to rub it because they're very tender. You don't want to bruise them. You just show us how, Chloe. Can you show us, girls? Grab one of your strawberries. You're gonna put the paper towel around it like a present and you're going to, there you go, just Get it nice and dry by patting it. And then you're gonna put it into a bowl. The next thing you're gonna need is almond bark. This is almond bark. It comes in a blue package or a white package and it looks like this. It's a big honking piece of chocolate. And it's really, really hard to separate. So the best way to do it is you take your package and you take the side of the table and you... Cook it. it. Whack it! And whack it, try, until it breaks in half. And you're going to take your pieces of almond bark and you're going to put them into a microwavable bowl. I use my measuring cup. Normally use glass. You wanna take one and pop it on in there? There you go. And now you're gonna put this in the microwave for 30 seconds. And when it comes out, you're gonna stir it around. I have mine in another bowl here. And you're gonna stir it around just like this. I use a rubber spatula. You're gonna put it back in the microwave and take it out and stir it around. Take it out and stir it around and keep doing that until your chocolate is perfectly melted. Now, if you guys can remember back to our first week when we dipped our marshmallows into chocolate, we're gonna be doing the same thing, the same process here, but we're gonna be doing it with a strawberry. So you're gonna take your washed strawberries that are nice and dry, and you're going to dip it into your chocolate. And I'm gonna dip it and kind of tip it. Ah, dip it and tip it! And then, you see how it's kind of drippy? You see yep. that? Yeah? You're gonna slowly make little circles with your wrist, just like that until it stops dripping. And then you can put it straight onto the parchment paper, or you can do what I'm about to do, and you can dip it in a topping that you've already prepared, like this. Dip it, and turn it, and dip it, and turn it, dip it, and turn it. And then you're gonna put it right on top of your parchment paper. There you go. You girls want to try? There you go. Chloe, go ahead. Go right on in there. Now something I forgot to mention. Before you start to dip your strawberries, you want to have, if you want toppings on your strawberries, you're going to want to prepare your toppings already. Here, you can do Oreos, Brielle. We have some nuts and some sprinkles and some mini chocolate chips. I like how you girls were doing that. Here you go. Put it right on there. Ooh, that looks so yummy. Very good. Mm. Wow, oh, Chloe, yeah. get it right, it's all right, put it right on top of there. There you go. You can grab your other ones. So now, you're going to take all of your tray and put it into your refrigerator and you're going to let it cool in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. All right, I took these out of the fridge. I put these on a smaller plate. 
Now the way to get them off is just to hold your parchment paper down and slowly lift up your strawberry. Go ahead girls, can you grab one and lift up one of the strawberries? Just go slow. You can hold it right where there's no chocolate. There you go, can you lift that one up please? And there you go, you've got a wonderful gift for mom for Mother's Day. Don't forget to tell mom how much you love her and appreciate her this week. Have a happy Mother's Day.